Hey guys, Richard here, and today I'm going to be giving you what is probably becoming my favorite standard deck since standard started, which is the Garmore deck. Um, don't know why Garmore keeps on coming back, but um, he's here and he's fun. So we're going we're gonna to make a Garmore deck. So your starter is, of course, uh, Crimson Lion Cub Kirif. Uh, it would have been cool if they made grass Grassland Sprees. I can't talk. Grassland, Breeze, Sagamore. You, you, you guys remember Grassland, Breeze, Sagamore from the original Garmore TD. That would, that would have been cool. It was like a backup starter, kind of like White Tiger. Uh, you're doing gardening outside, that's cool. Four copies of Great Silver Wolf Garmore. So Garmore's first skill is if you have one or less cards in your hand, all your rear goods cannot be attacked and they cannot be retired by card effects. So that could help if you want your opponent to attack you to give you counter blasts. See, that's really the only thing I can think you'd want to do for yourself. Other than that, if you have one card or less in hand, you're basically going to die anyways. So uh, offensively, it does nothing. Uh, the other skill, which is more important, is when it's placed, you counter blast one, look at the top three, call one, put the rest on the bottom of your deck, and uh, up to six units gain uh, 3k. So that 3k is going to make a big difference with your numbers. So you definitely uh, want to keep rewriting Garmore over and over again. Uh, next up, we're running four copies of Sagamore. So Battlefield Storm Sagamore's skill is when it's placed from hand, you Soul Blast 1, draw a card, and you call a card from your hand to the rear guard circle. So this is helping you do multi-attacks, uh, you ride it, and you know you get a gift out of it. Um, it's, a good, it's, the, it's the ideal backup ride if you can't ride Garmore. You're d you always want to basically be rewriting your Vanguard over and over with this deck. And the fact that you can still get a, a draw out of it, which is nice, you know, and you still get to call and proc effects like Dindrain, and um, you know, call cards that call more cards, etc. So, still a really good card. And if you use it during the battle phase, you can call it. You can call like this to Excel Circle, call something else to another Excel Circle or another Rearguard Circle. So, really good card. Run it for. Uh, two copies of Mox Slash Dragon. Mox slash dragon skill is Vanner Rear when it attacks, you counter blast one, call a card from your hand to rear, and this gets 5k. So more multi-attacking, so you swing during the battle phase and you call something to another rear. So this is basically helps you kind of finish. I'd run more copies, but the the space is kind of tight. I might drop a, a grade two for another mock slash. So we're still testing that out, but for now it's uh, 10, 10 grade threes, and two of them are mock slash. Uh, for grade twos, uh, four copies of Player of the Holy Bow Vivian. So Soul is not too much of an issue with this deck, and the Counter Blast is mostly used for calling cards anyway, so Vivian is perfect for this deck. So Vivian skills when it's placed from hand, you Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, look at the top card of your top three cards of your deck, choose one, uh, call it, the rest go to the bottom, and Vivian gains 3k. So you can be used during the battle phase if you call it with Mock Slash. Uh, it's your ride target, so that's why you run four of it. You want to ride this, call it more units. And then when you're setting up your board, you want to be able to call this and bring up more units. Uh, you know, you want to have a big board. So this deck is kind of like old Gold Paladin, where it's like you, you're basically filling up the field from the deck. So it's kind of nostalgic in that way. Uh, four copies of our Buller Gall clone. So Zelius Knight Gracianus, that's his name. Um, continuous. Uh, if a rear guard was called by a card effect, uh, buy your card ability. That, that's what that means. During this turn, uh, this gets 5k. So it's basically just uh, if you call something by a card effect, either basically through a card text, this gets 5k. So it's like Bowler Goal, kind of. You know, got to complete a condition and you get 5k for the turn. Um, yeah, I mean, it can work on your opponent's turn as well if you call the card somehow. I guess like in premium, but like that that's that's another format. This card's really good because it's a 14k by itself. Uh, it's mostly free since you're superior calling every turn. And uh, you put an Excel circle swings for 24, which hits force numbers. And if you add the 3k from Garmore, it hits for 27, which uh, bullies protect in Excel numbers as well. So definitely want to see this, especially when you're uh, after your drive checks and you want to call more things to Mock Slash, you can call this out. Uh, and if you call a Vivian or um, Ath. Uh, Athos, you can, you know, find this and then you get more attacks and they're just big beater numbers. So just a 19k base. 
and of course three copies of Athol's. So I'm only running three because the cost is a discard, so kind of hefty, but it's still really important to see the card. So the skill is like Vivian, it's when it's placed, uh, you have to you discard a card instead for a count, instead of counter blasting and soul blasting. So you look at the top three, and you look for a card with the same grade less than or equal to your Vanguard, and you call it to rear and the rest go to bottom. So if you're on grade three, uh, the skill doesn't really matter, but when you hit to, if you have to ride this, um, it's still pretty decent because all your grade two and grade one targets are really good. So uh, you look at the top three, and if you can find any of those, you definitely are going to be calling a grade two or a grade three. Um, so I mean, for the most part, if you don't, if, you can't, if it's all grade threes and triggers, like just call it trigger. You know, you want to have a field set up before you ride Garmor, so you can give them uh, 3k. So this is a really good early game target to call and fill up your board. So that's why we want to run, run the card. I was running one copy of Lopier Shooter as a tech. Um, the card was fun uh, when I was testing with crits, but since I decided my final build to be a fronts, uh, I took the card out. So, onto the grade ones. We're running four copies of Brennius. Brennius is really important with this deck, so you definitely want to max this out. Um, Brennius' skills when your grade three Vanguard is placed, you put this into the soul draw card and then call a card. So because of how Vanguard timing works, when two card effects happen at the same time, you get to choose which one goes off first. So if this is on your board first, when you ride Garmore, you could use Brennius' skill first before you do Garmore's on ride skill. And then you could draw and then call like Athol's and then Athol's skill you call another unit. So now instead of giving 3k to just Brennius, you can give 3k to Athol's and whatever Athol's calls out. So use Brennius first before you use Garmor. Um, yeah, definitely want to run for that. Four copies of Haugen. So Haugen is still really good. Like Haugen is just a really good card. Um, banner rear when your Vanguard attack hits. So you look at the top card of your deck. You may call it uh, if it has grade less than if it's grade less than or equal to your Vanguard, um, and if you do call it, you have to retire a Haugen on your rear. So if this is on your van and you swing with it, and you have no Haugen on rear, but it's on your van, the skill works on van circle, and your Vanguard hits, you can look at the top card, and if it's a grade one, you call it, and you don't have to retire a Haugen because you have to finish the skill as much as possible. So after you finish the call, you then have to retire Haugen, but if you don't, you don't have to retire Haugen. So that's pretty cool. So really good on ride. Uh, you also don't have to call the card. So if you check top card and it's like a trigger and you're like, oh no, I want to keep that on top. You can keep it on top. So uh, if your Vanguard hits, you basically have to look at the top card of your deck. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely want to be running the, we don't need Gareth in this deck because we're not running bow mains and we're not running bow mains for Ezel. This is a Garmore deck. Four copies of Dindrain because counter charging is cool. So when it's placed by card ability, you may tip pick one of two abilities after you Soul Blast. So it's either Soul Blast 1 draw card or Soul Blast 1 counter charge and gain 3k. You can only gain the 3k if you counter charge. You cannot gain the 3k if you draw. You see, you see how the, the draw card and the this unit gains 3k are not all in the same sentence. They're separated by the black and the counter charge right there. That means they're two separate skills and they're not together. So yes, Dindrain is a very good card. You should run four of it. So that is it for the main normal units. Let's go into trigger units. So we are running front triggers. You can run crits. Crits work fine too. It's not like either or. I mean, one, or, I mean that one is better than the other. You can pick either or. I am picking fronts because uh, speed, basically. You know, you, you the first turn that you ride Garmore and you build a field and you swing in Garmore and you get a front, you know, you, all your front row is getting all that power and it can really, you know, pressure your opponent with all those big numbers. Crits kind of do the same thing, but crits allow you to kind of pick which order you want to attack. If you run fronts, you kind of have to do Vanguard attack first. But if you do crits, you can do rear attack, then van attack a rear guard if you want, or I guess that you can so do it fronts, but like, you know, van attack van. Uh, if they see you run crits, they're more likely to guard it because they know you run crits, so you're make, you're putting pressure on your opponent, so uh, I'm going to be going back and forth with crits and fronts in this deck, but for the deck profile, I'm going to recommend fronts when you're trying out the deck. But try out crits, too. Um, you saw I was running seven fronts, so we're running five draws, four of which are the draw PG, and one of the regular draw. Uh, 
I like the one draw just because uh, it's, it's, it's attack, you know, you see it in a damage check, you draw a card. If you draw it, it's a discard fodder for uh, for Atleys and and um, other stuff. So I, I like the one tech. It, ha it has not done me bad yet. So yes, if you want to run eight front four draw, that's fine too. And last but not least, four heal triggers because healing is good. And yeah, twenty k shield. So that's it for the deck profile it's pretty quick <clears throat> um so yeah real quick i'm just gonna go over the ideal thing that you pretty much want to be doing you want to be calling this as your call targets when you're writing at least is that his name athels i'm sorry athels and vivian so if you're right vivian and or athels and you're looking for a call target you want to look for brennius so that after you call it you call it to your rear guard circle and then when the time comes for you to ride Garmore, you ride Garmore, uh, get the gift. Well, that's why I forgot to show. You know, you gotta you gotta run those imaginary gifts, right? Make sure you're running gifts. So call your Excel. Use Brennius first. Move to Soul, and then you look through your deck for call targets, and you're like, oh, call Vivian. And then you use Vivian's skill, and you're like, oh, cool. With Vivian, I call Mock Slash. And then you use Garmore's skill to counterblast and search the top three and call unit, and then you call maybe like Gracious, and then you give the three units 6k. So you go you go from giving just two units, which would have been the Brennius and whatever you called out, the Gracious, now you can do three. So if you use Brennius first and you can find something that calls more units, like Sagramore, um, Athels, or Vivian, you can give more units more power during that turn. Uh, the only downside to this play is if you're playing against uh, Phantom Blaster Dragon or Kagero, I guess just Shadow Paladin or Kagero, you have to worry about them uh, sniping your board and then you can't really do that. But other than that, this deck is really cheap to make. There are no VRs and uh, Garmer is the main triple R and he's not that expensive. V Vivian is the only other triple R in this deck and everything else in the deck is just double R or lower. So these are your only expensive cards. They're less than uh, $5 or maybe, this is probably maybe $5 max. So you can definitely build a deck for like $50 or less. So if you're really looking for a gold paladin deck cause you know, you don't wanna have spend money on all those VRs, I highly recommend uh, playing Garmore. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and that's pretty much it. I'm Richard and I'll see you all next time.